Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful stitch pattern. We will crochet three rows of the moss stitch, which is really, really easy. And then one row of puff stitches, which is also super, super easy. So if you are a beginner, don't be scared, you can do it. I will show you every single step how to crochet those rows and it works up really really fast and it's so much fun once you get the hang out of it you could use this beautiful pattern for a baby blanket for a scarf for a pillow cover whatever you would like to do and it's really super super easy and now i will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful stitch. Today I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and today I'm using Mila Mia yarn, and it's a 100% merino yarn, and I really, really love working with it. It's so, so soft, and they have them in so many beautiful colors, and I will put the link for the yarn down below. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot and we will crochet chains. For the moss stitch and the stitch, you will need um, chains in a multiple of two. So if you want to make a baby blanket or if you want to make a scarf, just keep crocheting until you have the length you want for your project. It just has to be a multiple of two. For my example today, I will crochet 20 chains. So a multiple of two. Once you are done with your chain, we will start the first row of the moss stitch. We will need the fourth stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. We will insert our hook into the fourth stitch Grab the yarn, pull up, you have two loops on your hook and we will work a single crochet. Now chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch right next to it. So you will skip the next into the stitch right next to it. You will insert your hook, work a single crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the stitch right next to it, work a single crochet, chain one this is all you have to do so skip the next stitch go into the stitch right next to it work a single crochet chain one and we will repeat this all the way along until we reach our last stitch I'm here at the end of my row. We have two stitches left and we will do exactly the same thing. We will skip the next into the last one. We will insert our hook and just one single crochet into the last stitch. And this is how you finish row one. For row two, you will chain two, turn your work around and now you will skip the very first single crochet and right next to it is this tiny space. We will be only working into the chain one spaces. So you will skip the first single crochet, go into the space right next to it, insert your hook, work a single crochet, chain one. Skip the next single crochet, go into the next little space right here and again, single crochet, chain one. And this is all you have to do. Skip the next single crochet, go into the space right next to it, work a single crochet, chain one. And this is all we have to do. Skip the single crochet, go into the next space, single crochet, chain one. So we will repeat this all the way along. Single crochet, chain one. And now again, we will skip the single crochet and into the space right next to it. So right here, you will just work one single crochet. 
And this is how we finish row two. For row three, we will do exactly the same thing. So chain two, turn your work around and again, skip the first single crochet and into the chain space right here, insert your hook and work one single crochet, chain one. Skip the next single crochet, go into the space right next to it and again, single crochet, chain one one and we will do this all the way along this is row three of the mass stitch so we will do a total of three rows and the next row will be the puff stitch so just single crochet chain one skip the single crochet go into the chain space and again single crochet chain one almost here to the end and here it's very important to skip the very last single crochet go into the chain space here right next to the single crochet and work one single crochet and this is what it looks like now we will start the row with the puff stitches so we will do a chain two turn the work around and again we will only work into the chain one space so you will skip this very first single crochet right here and for the puff stitch we are not make, doing a yarn over we are going straight into the chain one space we will grab the yarn pull up now yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch Grab the yarn, pull up. This was our second time. Now yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull up. Third time, we will do a total of five times. So yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull up. Four, and one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, and pull up. Now you will grab the yarn and go slowly through all the loops and we will secure the puff stitch with a chain one. And this will be the repeat through this row. So again, you will skip the next single crochet right here into the chain one space. We are going straight in, no yarn over. Just insert your hook into the chain one space, grab the yarn and pull up. Now yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull up. This was our second time and we need to do it in a total of five. So yarn over, insert, pull up, three, four, and five. Again, grab the yarn, pull through all the loops and secure with a chain one. And this is our repeat. <clears throat> so again, you will skip the next single crochet into the chain one space. You will go right into the space, grab the yarn, pull up, yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull up. This was our second time, yarn over, third time, fourth time, and now again, grab the yarn, go through all the loops and secure with a chain one. Look how pretty it is and it's super, super easy. Once you get the hang out of it, it works up really, really fast. So I will do this all the way along and I will see you back when I finish my last puff stitch. I just finished my last puff stitch and now again we will skip the single crochet into the space right there in between. So you will skip the single crochet right next to it. You will insert your hook into the last space, but here we will only work a single crochet. And this is how you finish the row with the puff stitches. Now we will work or prepare the first row for the moss stitch again, which is also super, super easy. So you will chain two, 
turn your work around. And now it's just really important that into the very first single crochet right here, we will insert into the single crochet and work a single crochet. So into the very first single crochet, you will single crochet and now chain one. So here are our puff stitches. When you pull them a little bit to the side, you can see we have a big space in there. So into the space right here, you will insert your hook, work a single crochet and chain one. Again, here is the next puff stitch. You will pull it a little bit, insert your hook, grab the yarn, work a single crochet and chain one. It's super, super easy. So again, pull the puff stitch a little bit. You can see this big space in there. You will insert your hook, work a single crochet, chain one. Again, single crochet, chain one. And this is again the first of three rows of the moss stitch. So again, single crochet, chain one. And now here is our very last one. And also if you pull it a little bit, you can see the space. And into the space right here, we will work one single crochet. And now for row two, we will do exactly the same thing like we did before. So all you have to do is chain two, turn your work around and work the second row in the moss stitch. So again, skip the very first single crochet, go into the chain space right here, single crochet, chain one. Skip the next single crochet, go into the space right here, single crochet, chain one. So this is super, super easy. And we will do this all the way along. I will crochet this row with you just to show you. It's a super, super chill project. You can relax and crochet something pretty. So again, here into the space, we will make a single crochet, chain one, skip the last single crochet and into the space right next to it. We will work one single crochet to get a nice and straight edge. This is row two of the moss stitch and we will do one more row of the moss stitch and then again a row of puff stitches. So chain two, turn your work around and do exactly the same thing. Skip the very first stitch into the chain one space, insert single crochet, chain one, Skip the next single crochet into the chain one space, single crochet, chain one. And I will see you at the end of row three. I'm here at the end again, and we will skip the last single crochet, go into the chain space and finish with a single crochet. And this will give you a nice and straight edge. Um, what I wanted to say, if you want to make more rows in between of the puff stitches, uh, the amount of rows have to be an uneven number. So three, five, seven, nine, eleven. This is totally up to you. This is the only thing you have to watch out for if you want to crochet more rows of moss stitches in between. And now I will show you one more time how to do the row with the puff stitches and then you can do it all by yourself. I'm sure it's super, super easy. So let's get started with the row with the puff stitches. So again, you will chain two, turn your work around. And again, we will skip the very first single crochet, insert our hook right into the chain one space, grab the yarn, pull up, yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull up. Now you have four loops on your hook. So this was our second yarn over, grab the yarn for the third time, the fourth and the fifth. 
and now grab the yarn go through all the loops and secure with a chain one again skip the next single crochet insert into the chain one space grab the yarn pull up and now yarn over insert into the same space grab the yarn pull up so this was our second time third fourth and fifth and again grab the yarn pull through all the loops and chain one and you will repeat this in every chain one space so I finished the row with the puff stitches and now again skip the last single crochet into the last space right here. You will just work one single crochet. And this is the repeat. I will crochet a couple more rows just to show you what it looks like and how to finish off. I crocheted a couple more rows and this is what it looks like. I really, really love this stitch and it works up really fast and it's super, super easy. This is how the front looks like. This is how the back side looks like. And if you want to finish off, I would crochet three rows of, since we started with three rows of uh, the moss stitch, I would also finish with three rows of the moss stitch and once you uh, finished your project all you have to do is work your last single crochet chain one pull really tight and now you can cut the yarn grab your hook pull the hook all the way through and pull tight and now it's all nice and secure and all we have to do now is just sew in the yarn ends. To sew in the yarn end we will need our yarn needle, pull the yarn through and now I just go through some stitches. So I will start right here in the corner, pull through just don't pull too too tight make sure it's still nice and even and then I go here through some stitches just like this then I will turn my work around and go through the opposite direction so like that again through some stitches right here Pull nice and tight and now we can cut the yarn and we are done I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so so much for watching I hope you like this pattern as much as I do I can't wait to see your finished projects you can also find me on Instagram if you would like to send me some pictures or a message i really really appreciate it thank you so so much for watching have a great time crocheting and i hope to see you back soon bye